Sergio Aguero had a day to forget. Oh, awkward moment. Um, mm-hmm. Stepped up to take the penalty that could have won them the league then and there. Um, Penenka didn't manage it. <laughs> Mendy basically dipped to his left, <laughs> then had time to get up, pat yes. himself down yeah. uh, and stop it. Watching it was just a <coughs> very awkward mo- moment. And you could see in, in, in his mind, maybe Ali, if he had <laughs> scored it... He would have gone from his Aguero moment back in, what, 2011 <laughs> to then winning the league with a Penenka and, oh. and it would have been glorious, oh. but it didn't happen, did it? No, I don't necessarily agree with Cash, right? Because <laughs> a lot of the Penenka moments... See, would you, I remember the original Penenka and I remember sitting as a wee boy watching it saying, wow. <laughs> and by the way, everybody, just in case they forget... That was against one of the top German sides of all time for the Czechs to win the European Championships. Right, so that's pressure. And he did it against Sepp Meyer, who was one of the greatest goalkeepers in the world. So the only problem with the Penenka would you comes if you don't score. Mm. Simple. It's as simple as that. Have I you mean, tried one? Yes, I did. Did I you did. score it? I did it in a, a, a live televised six-a-side tournament, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> a slightly less pressure, I suppose. Well, it was on television, but I did score, yeah. But I take, I take you know, Cassie's point to a certain degree. But the fact of the matter is, if you choose... I remember Gary Lineker doing it, keeper saving it. If you choose to do the Penenka, if you don't score, you run the risk of look, looking daft. So it's as simple as that. If you do it, you've got to score. And he didn't, so he looked daft. Mm. And he, that's it. He tweeted out an apology to um, all the City fans. Um, I'm really. What was, what's the apology for? Well, I think the apology was for the fact that he tried it and didn't score it. Get up if you want. I know. Um, but, well, would he um, apologise if he'd missed the penalty and hit it? The goalkeeper's left. The goalkeeper saved it. Or no? Would he have? What if he just scored? A, if he'd attempted a normal penalty and and missed, and, and missed it as well? Probably not. This is what he said. I would like to apologise to my teammates, staff, and supporters for missing the penalty. It was a bad decision. I take full responsibility. So yeah, essentially, he's saying I shouldn't have made that decision. I should have yeah. just tried to take a normal penalty. See, that's, et cetera, et cetera. The, the bottom line is it's simple. That's ain't rocket science. If you decide to go for a penalty, you got to score it. You don't. You're ridiculed. Mm. End of. It means as well that um, they didn't lift the title then and there. Also, Manchester United won their game yeah. at Aston Villa, which delays it a little bit more as well. Um, ultimately, what's it, the 10 points United a game in hand? I was just on you, is it? You are really throwing them at me today, aren't I you? Am, I, I'll save you. It is 10 points and United have got a game in hand, yeah. There we go. Um, so United, actually, that game yesterday, they've got Leicester as well coming up tomorrow. Oh, some games coming up. Buddy. Yeah, I tell you Ooh. what, th- there's, a, there's a lot of fixture congestion there for Oli to deal with Um, I spoke to him after that game yesterday actually and he said it was great that he wasn't driving back into Manchester and the blue side were just celebrating already so um, little small you know small victories for them Um, but in terms of Pep Guardiola and Manchester City they are going to do it of course they are Um, what about the idea that this game, because I thought it was fascinating at the weekend, each side, Chelsea, Manchester City, both making a fair bit of changes, and you sort of expected it, didn't you? Like yeah, a, of course. Be a bit of a B side ahead of the Champions League final. Um, for me, Chelsea had, what, two, three goals disallowed in that game as well. Um, for me, Chelsea are just looking more and more like the real deal. And I love seeing them against Manchester City. It doesn't matter how many changes both sides make. They're still, they're, their second string sides are still brilliant sides, Ali. But gee, the, the, biggest, the biggest compliment you could pay Chelsea right now would be they look the only side in world football that do not fear Manchester City. Not one bit. Nah, not in the slightest. Cup, to, cup semi-final. Gave them a bit of a going over. <clears throat> I didn't see the first half. I got to say, I watched highlights of the first half, and City looked obviously far better. I saw the full second half, and I thought City, hey, Chelsea were magic. By the way, I mean, and Golo Kante is just—I I don't know what's happening with that guy. He's just—he's magic, isn't he? He's Everything just, about him. He's amazing. Everything about him. <clears throat> uh, Zayets comes on. It's a great finish. Takes a left foot touch. Goalkeeper's bottom left hand corner. He maybe she got a bigger hand on it, but. You, Chelsea just looked Manchester City uh, I mean Chelsea are the only team that I think that I've seen look unbelievably confident attacking Manchester City mm. and you think something's going to happen you know it's uh, and that's you know uh, uh, you're talking Diaz Laporte Nathan Aki come in I know I get that but oh, I don't know 
you'd have to say the ch- everybody will probably still have Manchester City favourites for the Champions League final. But again, that'll probably suit Chelsea. You know, Thomas too close. He'll be he'll be he'll be absolutely thrilled with what he's seen at the weekend and what he has been seeing. Who wins for you, Ali? <sighs> Do you know something? Would you think Chelsea won it? Wow. I do. Which is clearly it would be unbelievable. But I, I'm, I'm just looking. No, and on the evidence of the last two games against each other, <laughs> you know, Manchester City. Well, the first thing you got to say, Manchester City are going to have to do something different to win the game because mm-hmm. Chelsea look as though they, they handle them defensively. As it listen, it's a different game. If Aguero doesn't try the Panenka and scores, I get that. We all get that. But the fact of the matter is, I would I would suggest that there is absolutely no doubt now that Chelsea will be in the minds of the Manchester City players. Interestingly, um, I watched it with Chelsea fans this weekend, and they were yep. saying they they wouldn't have minded losing that game. Because the law of odds, you know, you kind of lose that one, that's fine. Win the Champions League final. And it's almost too good to be true to go back to back to back wins against Manchester City. It doesn't really happen. Um, but in terms or, of or how do, they played... Or do you start affecting them mentally if you keep beating well, them? Well, that's it. Is there is there a psychological edge now between Thomas Tuchel and Pep Guardiola where he thinks, OK, fine, figured this out, not scared of you? 100%. Oh, 100%. That, that, that's the point I was trying to make, would you? Mm. If you're a Chelsea player, um, and indeed Thomas Tuchel, you're like that. The one thing you know, this, it's not up for debate, you know you can beat Manchester City. You know, you, you're not going into this game like somebody else, like, you know, another team that, you know, that say, well, we're up against this City side, I've got their run the one, they've done this, they've done that, they've done the next thing. You're going into that City game knowing that you've beat them the last twice you've played them. Mm-hmm. So, and then I'm, I'm talking about the confidence, the confidence side of things from, from Chelsea. There has to be a little bit of doubt in the Manchester City players' heads. Mm-hmm. Okay. There has to be. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, six till ten, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.